Well, I think it's time to harvest my persimmon tree. This is my Fuyu. Uh, all the leaves have already fallen off of it. And I'm really scared that if I don't pick it now, the frost is gonna get all of them. So we are about mid-November and everything as far as um, all the leaves from my deciduous trees and fruit trees have already fallen off. So it's, it's about time. Um, and they look kind of semi-ripe, you know? I bought an Izu persimmon this past spring, but it didn't survive, it was a bare root. Uh, and I wanted another tree so they can kind of cross-pollinate and do a little bit better. But it is what it is. Probably get one next year, plant that in ground. Um, for now, let's harvest some persimmon. Here we go, all done. So this is a tree that's been in the ground for about two years and that's a pretty good production or a pretty good crop. As far as persimmons go, um, they do require a longer season, but if you pick it at this stage, uh, don't eat it right away because they might have that, um, uh, what's that called again? The tannins, no, it's not tannins. It kind of makes your mouth kind of cottony if it's not fully ripe so best to leave these on the counter and let the sugars kind of concentrate in the fruit and finish ripening. Okay so it's been some time since these have been sitting on the shelf. You can tell that some are super ripe some more overly ripe. Well, I'll show you what to do with this one. <laughs> um, but uh, I did try one or two after about a couple days and then again after about a couple weeks and they still had that kind of acidic tannin, not acidic, but the, the tannin type of taste to it. I mean, it very stringent and basically suck all the water out of your mouth um, and then I waited about three to four weeks later it was okay it was actually good to eat um, a few here that are definitely gone past its prime these guys right here and some that are really wrinkled um, so I waited a little long on these. I got a little bit lazy with the holiday that went uh, came that uh, we had. That one is falling apart. So not good. It's almost not good. This one. These don't look like they ever got any darker. So it's too soft. I wonder if it's even edible. Let's give it a try.
and this is a really wrinkly one. Hmm. Yuck. So that was really soft and not sweet. I threw it out. <laughs> Okay, that one's good. Yeah. So after about, uh, I don't know, more than a month, I'll, I'll look it up. You know, it took that long to get rid of all that, that astringent taste to it. Um, I wish we had a longer season here and these would just ripen right on the tree, but we don't. It's the kind of process that we have to go through here. So, yeah, we'll see. Not super happy with the flavor on these. Um, you know, that definitely had better where it's crunchy and sweet, and delicious. You don't have to wait for the um, for them to ripen on the counter. So we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll get the Izu next year, and those are supposed to ripen even earlier than the Fuyu, and um, should be better. Who you presents? Just okay. Hello.